YouTube, Topaz Yates back for another album review, and this one is to that Domo Genesis Genesis. And you know what? This is a dope album from beginning to end, dude. And you know, I'm really proud of Domo Genesis for this. Going back to when I first reviewed a mixtape from him a long ass time ago, before I even knew he was part of Odd Future, I knew he had the potential to do something like this, man, and to actually see it happen. I'm really fucking happy for this dude. I mean, starting with that awkward groove. Pretty solid motherfucking song, and this is what I tell rappers all the time. If you want to create something unique and different, then you should go ahead and find your unique and different producers. I haven't seen the production listing, man, but overall, whoever produced that was pretty fucking dope, man, because a lot of those melodies, they really don't go together like that. Like, if you just listen to them as separate instruments and stuff, you realize, okay, they really shouldn't work that well, but as you listen to it, it does definitely work out because this guy who's ever producing it is on a high level. Next, I like that one below where what Domo Genesis is rapping about here is pretty much his history and things that he did coming up and everything. And then he goes into Odd Future and how they broke up and pretty much saying that they broke up from the seams and such. An excellent produced solid track right there. My next favorite track would be that Coming Back featuring Mac Miller, man. And you know, this one he's just really spitting all throughout, man. And it actually works because Mac Miller is like the perfect compliment on this individual track here. My next favorite track is that Brother, which he's giving two different stories here about all people. Pretty much the first verse he's rapping about somebody who's truly just lost, don't really know what they're going to be in life and everything, and which I know a lot of brothers that's like that. The second verse is about a guy that got caught up in the street life, and I know a lot of people that's like that too. And finally, I like that all night, and this is where he's going into his desires and his burning motivation on how he's been dreaming about this, wanting this, pushing to get this success all his motherfucking life. And this is how every rapper needs to approach the game, man. You have to want it this motherfucking bad in order for you to make that shit happen. As well as go out and be about your shit. Not just want it to happen, but go out and make it happen. I mean, quite honestly, this whole album damn near rides beginning to end. I'm just naming the very best of it all, man. But definitely a project I recommend people to go out and cop. I give this one a solid 9 out of 10. But this concludes today's review, man. And now we're going to jump into a brief instrumental from underground producer Sample Kid before we jump into the news and then jump into an article from DownloadPaz.com. cleats and such, man, because you know, Snoop Dogg, he has been doing a lot of things trying to get himself into football from being a coach to having a reality show with his son that was part of UCLA and such. And now he got his own football cleats, man, in which the bottoms of it is solid gold, and then he got his own lyrics on the side, mine on my money on one shoe and money on my mind on the other one, and the whole top layer of it is based off of the $100 bill and such, man. And you know what? Very interesting shoe. I've never seen anything like this on a football field. It would be very interesting to see if he gets some actual kids and such the word because it's probably a promise that he'll never get this in the NFL because you know how much of an asshole these people are. But anyway, on to today's article from DownloadPath.com. And today's article is about these pro-black rappers, man, in which I put pro-black in parentheses and such because a lot of these people claiming to be pro-black, trying to speak up for black issues and such, man, but in the end, they're not because they keep saying the same shit that you hear on the news, all of these people trying to undermine every single movement that black people have. Like, why is it all of these rappers that try to claim to be pro-black and all of that want to undermine shit by saying, what about black on black crime? That type of bullshit. I look back at songs like off of that album about nothing from Wale that it got featured with J. Cole and such on it. Here's just some real talk for that ass. You undermining every positive movement that black people try to come up with, you are not on our motherfucking side. 
Period. You say you want to keep it real, you don't want to be a hypocrite, you don't want to be all of that shit, man. But let's look at the realities of life. If black people are going to be classified by all of the criminal actions that all people have and such, man, then white people need to be classified by that shit, too. Every white person should be judged by how many times they shoot up the motherfucking school, how much crystal meth these motherfuckers use, how many movie theaters these motherfuckers shot up, how many serial killers are out there just killing for no motherfucking reason. All white people need to be classified by this, but yet, no, they're not, and you let that shit happen, but yet you classify us with all of the killers and all of the criminals. You are not pro-black, you're a fucking coon that's in the fucking way. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there, and you can go to DownloadPads.com, that's down there, to read today's article.